Hey boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to Valley Fortress Siege. Check it out. We're gonna play a we're gonna play a full support build today. We've got the Imperial Pikes, the Fort of Brachio Pikes, and the Imperial Shields. Now, yes, yes, yes. I know stalwarts have replaced them in the meta. However, those giant tower shields that they have do absorb a lot more arrow fire and loose hits than the uh, stalwart shields do. Which, you know, if you look at the front of a stalwart shield line, they have a lot of gaps in between the shields where, where shots and stuff can slip through. And that's fine because, you know, stalwarts are a bit of a hybrid. They also do a ton of damage. So, But the imperial shields really are better at blocking. So let's see how we go with them anyway. I'm going to load in first with the Metallolori. Now, I'm going to show you this tip again, just because a lot of people seem to love it, and a lot of people don't seem to quite catch it. What we're going to do when the animation starts to zoom out from the gate is we're going to hit the control key, and we're going to grab that siege tower real quick. Watch this. Now. See how the animation started to zoom out and immediately snapped to my unit? That's because I hit the control key. I'm going to grab ourselves a cannon while we're here. Ah, my cannon. Oh well. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your cannon. So what's special about the Metallolori? Metallolori, uh, when they're on a siege engine and pushing, get two very notable bonuses. Uh, there's a 10% range damage on them, themselves, and on the unit, and also a damage reduction on the tower as well, which is what those big gold shields are on the, on the rams and the siege towers and things like that, that you see all the time from things being pushed in. They're only a 30 leadership unit, they are a premium unit, so they'll cost you a whole bunch of silver or a little bit of money, but even if you've only got a little bit of money to spend on them, I highly, highly recommend this unit, because not only do they get that bonus for siege equipment and only cost 30 leadership, they also give you a bonus to your gold, uh, sorry, your bronze uh, that you receive at the end of the battle, your honour and glory at the end of the battle, and also the unit and hero EXP at the end of the battle as well. 10% bonus to all of that, and that is additional to all the other bonuses that you get. You know, whether you've got the, the advanced unit cards and things like that active, or the premium account, it's a, additional to that. What's going on here? Javelins, hey? Oh no, not the javelins. What are those behind there with the black arrows? Are they Namcans? I laugh in the face of Namcans and javelins because I'm a longsword. The giant metal plate stuck to my arm. Oh, hold on. Probably want to go back and get another unit now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Has he been nankent? Is he bleeding? Try and protect them and try and protect the peasants. Let's get a heal on him. Notice that the heal, when you click the heal button, it's uh, where they are at the time of the button press. So you don't have to worry about them running away and things like that. We've got that in nice. Now, oh, we're actually capturing A already. Um, I might just waltz on in there. Seize the day. Carpe diem. Get on in there. What have we got? Nothing blocking us. Stalwarts? Oh, we'll just ignore the stalwarts and keep running on past. So, uh... Enemy team, get on the point. What are you doing? <laughs> Alright, this is the classic example of get on the point. There's nobody here to stop us. And we noticed that something was wrong, and even though we didn't go back and get a real decent unit, we had a unit of peasants out, as did the other people there. Uh, as you can see, there was some, uh, I think they were woodcutters. And now we're just going to lop off some limbs and heads and all sorts of things, commit mass murder. There are no police in Conqueror's Blade, so you can kill as many people as you like, without much uh, retaliation. Do you see how the um, Metallolori are doing quite a bit of damage to them? It's because they're hitting them in the back, which is the yellow numbers, but also because they do blunt damage. And blunt damage is the least common... What's going on here? We're going to Carpe Diem again, I think. What is going on? The, the blunt defences were the least common. We'll try and chop up those gunners. There's someone behind me. Just need my unit round when I'm fighting a Poleaxe, or at least stay on my um, my horse, because they have that Rough Justice ult which pins you to the ground. But now that we've got a musket here, we're pretty much immune. Go on, boys. Bash these guys. This longsword looks to be a full armor longsword, because he's not taking a lot of damage when hit. But also he's doing stuff all damage, just like I do, hitting with a wet noodle. But we have a secret weapon. We're going to slow him down, and then we're going to start chopping at him with my longsword. Put him on the ground, beat him to death. Job done. And now... <laughs> now where are the enemy team? They're not on the point.
couple of rogue halberdiers, the ones I guess that we tried to kill earlier. And then we're going to get the supply point for free as well. This is ridiculous. What is going on here? And all of this managed to happen because a couple of people with peasants, just peasants out, they didn't have time to go back and change to the decent unit, noticed that something was going on. So what I'm thinking anyway is, why is this happening? Um, I bet you there's a whole bunch of cavalry lying around. So we'll get some Imperial Pikes out. You don't often see a lot of Imperial Pikes on your team, even though they're very, very useful unit. Most people like units. Oh, there's another one. Another unit. They, uh, most people like to get... There's another one. This is incredible. We're absolutely steamrolling them. This doesn't happen on the booming Frontier servers, by the way. This is unheard of. Don't know how you guys play on EU, NA and all that, but this is, doesn't happen here. But yeah, it's the Imperial um, Pikes. What's up with them? If you don't know much about Imperial Pikes, their number two ability is Advance, and that is all about stopping cavalry. It will also bowl units over, and low health or low value units will also pretty much die instantly in the Advance as they're getting knocked down. So that's what their most interesting point is. And you get to do that every sort of 50 seconds or a minute somewhere there. So don't trigger that, that Advance unless you absolutely know you need it. We still haven't even seen any enemy cavalry. That number three ability, that's a Purple Doctrine. If you're not in the Booming Frontier server, you won't be able to get that yet, but you will from the next season. It allows you to charge in and then go straight into your advance, which is a very, very powerful tactic. Here's the cavalry. Let's have a quick word with them. Goodbye, boys and girls. Absolutely massacre. Now, most people will take the bottom line veterancy for their Imperial Pikes, especially if they're competitive play, because the whole purpose of the Imperial Pikes is to stop cavalry. It's not to kill infantry or things like that. You're using them as an immediate stop to infantry. Where are the enemy? Get on the point. There's about two or three of the heroes fighting properly, and the rest of the guys are just not achieving, shall we say. So the bottom veterancy line gives them a massive, massive bonus to their, to their, uh, their armor. 20% to all armor bonuses. And they get some other cool stuff on the bottom line, like a brace damage bonus and stuff. But their brace is terrible. Don't rely on their brace. The other thing about the brace is that if I now advance them like this and go into brace, they'll go into the direction that they're facing. But here's a shield wall. Watch, I'm not going to advance into the shield wall. I'm going to wait for the iron caps. There we go. And then the, the momentum of the iron caps into the pikes got them killed. But watch what happens when they hit the shield wall. They don't knock down shield walls, and that will include stalwarts and things like that. They can take out some of the very low level peasant stuff. Now, if you're in that circle formation, and you hit the brace, then advance, and then you hit the brace at the end of it, they will brace in the same direction they were in their place in the circle. So if you're going to brace at the end, make sure that you use the number one formation. Where are the enemy? Get on the point. This is unbelievable. This is what happens, team, when you don't get on the point. Ridiculous. You know, we did stuff all damage and stuff took stuff all because the game was so quick. The enemy team completely failed. Like, ridiculously failed. Look at this, we've got 279 participation. That is a monster participation score. And that's because we got on the point. Hear what I'm saying? Let's have a look here. About 420,000 total. And the guy above us, he did 600, 700. So I would say I arguably did more for the team and the person who's in third place and fifth place than the guy at the top did. So how do we do here? Um, we were our mistakes. Where can we improve? I can't see any. We noticed the A point was open. We took it with Matella Lori. We noticed the B point was open. We took it with Matella Lori. So just really seizing the initiative when you see an opening in the enemy's armor is really important. Then we took the supply point, then we took the C point. The whole team was at C, so it was a bit of a walk over there that was well coordinated. Then we went up, we demolished some cavalry, and then straight onto the point. Demolished some infantry. The whole purpose of this game, boys and girls, is get on the point. I can't stress it enough. And almost, almost every single game I see people getting it wrong. What can I do? Anyway, I hope you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the battle. Thanks for coming to the channel. Hey guys, Knight here. Thanks for watching my videos. I make these in my spare time for a bit of fun, so hopefully you learned something or you just enjoyed watching. It would really help me out if you would subscribe and like my videos. See you on the battlefield.